Incoming. I am Tarka Doll, <laughs> an ambassador of the great Vindelian Empire. The scanners reported human life on your vessel. Is this so? Humans? <laughs> the Vindelian people despise all humans. They are the vermin of the universe. Is that not right, Bindi Badgy? We. Empire has pledged to exterminate them all. We will not rest until our task is completed. Uh, Lister? Hi. How's it going, bud? Repaired the toaster, sir. Well, I've nearly repaired the toaster. Oh, no, man. Dismantle him. You don't know what the little bleeder's like. Well, I've read all the documentation, sir. He's simply a talking alarm clock who provides his owner with uh, early morning toast and light conversation. Not this one. This one's mental. Sir? He's defective. He wants everyone to eat toast all of the time. He's obsessed with it. And if you don't want to eat, like, 400 rounds of toast every hour, he throws a major wobbler. That's what caused the accident in the first place. What accident? The accident involving me, the toaster, the waste disposal, and a 14-pound lump hammer. That explains why he was down in the garbage hole in 3,000 separate pieces. And nothing. He owes his howdy doodly do. Drives your spare. I mean, what the smeg does howdly doodly do mean? Yeah, well, just trust me, sir. My motives will become clear. Howdy doodly do. How's it going? I'm Talkie. Talkie Toaster, your chirpy breakfast companion. Talkie's the name, toasting's the game. Anyone like any toast? Look, I don't want any toast, and he doesn't want any toast. In fact, no one around here wants any toast. Not now, not ever. No toast. How about a muffin? Or muffins. <laughs> oh, mu we don't like muffins around here. We want no muffins, no toast, no tea cakes, no buns, baps, baguettes or bagels, no croissants, no crumpets, no pancakes, no potato cakes and no hot cross buns and definitely no smeg and flapjacks. <laughs> ah, so you're a waffle man. <laughs> See, you see what he's like? He winds me up, man. There's no reasoning with him. If you'll allow me, sir, as one mechanical to another, he'll understand me. Now, now, you listen here. You will not offer any grilled bread products to any member of the crew. Now, if you do, you will be on the receiving end of a very large polo mallet. Hmm. Can I ask just one question? Of course. Would anyone like any toast? <laughs> Boys, haven't they, Mr. Flibble? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Naughty boys who've been naughty, Mr. Flibble. Uncle Arnie fries them alive with his hex vision. That's right, Mr. Flibble. <laughs> is in its secondary stage. Mr. Rimmer can't have long to live. What is he capable of? Well, we've seen Hex Vision. Almost certainly, like Landstrom, he'll be capable of telepathy and possibly even telekinesis. Telekinesis? What are these? <laughs> the ability to move objects purely by the power of the mind. I have a medium-sized fire axe buried in my skull. <laughs> that sort of thing can really put a crimp on your day. <laughs> Two and one half batchers, please. <laughs> uh, 
No, I'll eat them here. That's better. Maybe now I can win self-determination for these South Moldavian people. Oh. Ah, I think I'm okay now. <laughs> Mr. Flibble's very cross. You shouldn't have run away from him. What are we going to do with them, Mr. Flibble? We can't possibly do that. Who'd clear up the mess? Start again. Oh, sir, my head is spinning. We've been doing this all morning. I'm frightened. I'm going to teach you how to lie and cheat. If it's the last thing I do, I'm going to teach you to be unpleasant, cruel, and sarcastic. It's the only way to break your programming, man. Make you independent. Well, I'm truly grateful, sir. Don't you think I'd love to be deceitful, unpleasant, and offensive? Those are the human qualities I admire the most. But I just can't do it. You can. I can't. Look, what's this? No. What is it? Please. Come on, what is it? It's a... It's a... It's a small off-duty Czechoslovakian traffic warden. Yes, you did it! You did it! What's this? It's a red and blue striped golfing umbrella. Yes! What's this? It's an apple. No! It's a, it's what a, is it? It's, it's, it's the Bolivian Navy on maneuvers in the South Pacific. Oh, Crichton, man, you can do it. No, I can't. Yes, you... Oh, oh, nice one. <laughs> well, I can't hang around here. I better go away and take the penguin for a walk. <laughs> I can do it! I did it again! I can lie! Come here, come here! Check this! Check this! Check, check this! Check what? Concentrate, Crichton. What's this? It's a banana. <laughs> What's this? It's an orange. What's this? <laughs> you taught him that? That's terrific! <laughs> you two should audition for What's My Fruit? <laughs> gonna do to us whatever it takes to find out about the paddle hey if you mean torture then say the word torture i can take it okay they may torture us they torture us <laughs> they probably won't man they're probably not even interested in the paddle they probably just take us outside and execute us you're just saying that to make me feel better <laughs> it's just those guys are fiends they instantly know your weak spots as soon as they see me, they'll know they only have to force me into platform shoes and flared trousers and I'll sing like Tweety Pie. I don't know what the Schmeg went wrong. Crichton never said anything about the paddle taking us back in time. We just wanted to transport us to the nearest planet with a breathable atmosphere. How the Schmeg would we wind up in the middle of the Third Reich? What are those guys doing out there? They're building something. What? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Just a sculpture, you know, modern art job. Like the kind you get in shopping malls. What's it made of? Wood. It's a sort of inverted L shape in wood. Does it have a kind of rope motif? There's a sort of noosey theme to it, yeah. It's gallows, right? Look, if it's gallows, say it's gallows. I can take it. Okay, it's gallows. I build the gallows to hide it! Look, man, don't panic. We're going to escape. How? Just. Hijack the guards when they come in, nick their uniforms, and stroll out. Are you insane? You seriously expect me to wear grey out of season? <laughs> I'd rather hang. Which one's Dwayne Dibley? <laughs> no, 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 please, no. I don't want to be Dwayne Dibley. You. Here are your party's clothes and possessions. The medical officer will be down in 20 minutes. Dwayne Divley? How can I be called Dwayne Divley? It's true. It's got your photograph, name, address on it and everything. There's an anorak in here. <laughs> White socks, nylon shirt, plastic sandals, Airtex vest, cardigan. Oh, and a, and a key to the Salvation Army hostel. It doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid it makes perfect sense. Dwayne? <laughs> Come 
Biden, man, are you okay? I just know we're not going to be able to get rid of her. That's so terrible. She's going to take you away from me. I just know it. What? I took her in present milk when she was showering. I've seen her naked. So? She's got all those in and out bits that you like. Right, no matter what happens, you and me, we're compadres, amigos. But that's all going to change if she stays. You'll end up liking her more. I won't. You will. I won't. You will. I won't. I won't. I won't. You promise? I promise. So she walked in here now and, and took all her clothes off and said, Ooh, make love to me, you horny dude. And I said, oh, perhaps you'd prefer to fold some sheets with me instead, sir. What would you do? What kind of sheets would they be? Well, those nice cotton ones with the pattern. What, the blue stripey ones or the green square ones? The green square ones. So it's making love to Kachansky or folding sheets with you. Can I do final folding stack? Absolutely. Did the sheets stand off? And she's standing there all naked with all the in and out bits going all in and outy. With the sheets, cried. You and me, hospital corners. Really? Too true. You're lying! You're just trying to make me feel better. What's that mean, dudes? We are talking Jape of the Decade. <laughs> we are talking April, May, June, July and August full. <laughs> yes, that's right. I am Queek. What?